Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and again I'm going to select this duplicate class and I'm going to go append on the live event handler. Now inside here I want only specific events to you know, be uh, taken into account. So I'm going to set the click event uh, and I'm going to say this, um, in fact sorry we need uh, curly brackets in here uh, and we'll just go ahead and bring this down and I'm going to say on click event I want to run a particular function. So on the click event I'm going to say alert you have clicked. So now what we're doing is we're uh, running click inside live as almost as a uh, it is an event within this uh, function if you like uh, but we're running it sort of as an option so we're saying live click and we can we can add more down here so you could uh, comma separate these and go ahead and uh, say dbl click for example uh, and you could append more on uh, again that's written in the jQuery documentation so when we click now this is going to have exactly the same effect when we click this button we get this alert box uh, appear the only difference now is when we use the same uh, as we did before with this dot after and we re sort of we add more uh, you know code in so I'm going to say input type equals button the value equals click and we'll go ahead and add the class in as well which is duplicate now what's going to happen is because we've appended the live event handler on as opposed to just click uh, this will be able to pick up new elements that have been added sort of inside of this uh, event handler so now when we refresh and we click we have the same message up and we click OK we have the same thing happen as we did before but this time because we're using live when we click this uh, we get the same uh, message and we can just continue literally generating buttons so obviously uh, in this sense with generating button after button it you know it's not doesn't really make sense but uh, you could apply this to things like um, a good example would be to apply this to um, input ty input types with file. Now you might want to say, um, in fact, let's go ahead and, and we'll write it out. We'll say input class equals file type equals file, and we won't use a value. Okay, so now let's uh, just go ahead and get rid of this code here. And let's go ahead and refresh. We've got choose file, and I can go ahead and select a file here, uh, any file that I want. Now, what I want to happen is, is I want a new uh, one of these or a new input type of file to be generated um, once I've selected a file from this one. So we'll go ahead and we'll reference dot file because we've given it a class of file, and then we'll say dot live. And in here, I want to go ahead and just specify change. And when we, when this changes, i.e., when a file is selected, uh, I want to go ahead and say this dot after, and I want to create a new file, a new file input. So type file and class equals file. Okay, so this isn't like completely full uh, foolproof I guess because um, if you think about it you know we're gonna go ahead and choose a file now tartan.jpg that's changed once we select this in uh, and another um, file box has been generated I can then go ahead and choose another file and the new ones generated so we're applying like the same action to each class and we can only really do that using live oh sorry we can only really do that using live as we saw with the button example but if I was to go ahead and change this file here to something, uh, we get another one as well. So I mean, this is a quick example of how we could use it uh, with generating these. Also, you are going to have the problem with names as well. You need to give it a unique name here. Um, but obviously, uh, because this is just an example, I'm not going to go through and explain all of that. But that's something to think about with the uh, live event handler uh, and how we can specify um, events within it but apply it to the same class as we initially selected.